So I wanted to break down for you and your audience uh, how a really big site gets organized, indexed, and optimized. And so I picked Airbnb because everybody knows them. I think everybody's used them. And they have a massive amount of inventory and pages that we can take a look at. So let's first take a look at the total number of index pages. And if we do a Google search on site colon and then the URL, in this case Airbnb, um, in the left-hand column, we see that Google has indexed 23.8 million pages here in the green oval. Um, it's a lot of pages. Uh, we can also see here with the blue arrows below that, that there are multiple subdomains by country. So fr.airbnb.com is their French website. Um, NL is for the Netherlands, PT is for Portugal. Um, so on the right-hand side, uh, let's redo our search for just the www, and that still gives us 23.3 million pages. So we're going to start there as a base in terms of what Google has indexed from www.airbnb.com. So, so just um, for the, the international businesses out there that might be, say, in France, yeah. um, looking at those results, is that saying that, say, Airbnb aren't creating as many pages for their own local sites? Well, there is a big distinction between what Airbnb has created or offered and what Google has indexed. So depending on the distinction between any one listing on fr.airbnb.com, it may be identical to the same listing on www, since the www has you know, worldwide listings. So it may be that Google just sees that as duplicate content and only indexes a small subset of the total number of pages they've built out. Okay, so when you're saying that, does that mean we're not going to be competing with Airbnb um, when it comes to, say, French uh, language in this case? Well, the, so Airbnb, let me just say that um, the site itself is pretty messy and it feels like there's a lot of stuff they've kind of built ad hoc over time. And there are probably a number of elements of the site that they can clean up. And one thing I did notice that is that there are listings um, in other languages uh, and that includes both the listing itself and the reviews. So you might see a listing in Chinese and the entire listing and the reviews are all in Chinese. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that might translate to zh.airbnb.com, uh, um, but suffice it to say, I think these are all things they have to deal with and struggle with, and this is pretty common when you get a page that builds into the millions of pages, a site that builds that big. 